Where are we? This... This is... The Angel Grove Spring Carnival. But that was over six months ago. Yeah, when we all came to visit you after everything went down with Tommy. The first time, I mean. Have we... Have we actually traveled in time? Perhaps. Given Alex's technology, it is conceivable. We do not know how this morphing grid truly works. This is after Tommy was turned into the Green Ranger, but before Zed's attack. Better times. Happier times. Is that how we fix things? Has Alex sent us back in time to stop Tommy from dying? That would eliminate the need for us to get him the white light power. But if we stop Tommy from dying, then we might stop him getting that hidden on Zed. Which means he wouldn't retreat. We could lose. No. Don't you see? We could stop all of it. We attack Zed before he uses Serpentera. Stop him from destroying Chicago. My- But that isn't what Alex said we are here to do. He never said anything about time travel. Time travel? And who the hell is Alex? The five rangers turn in shock to see me standing behind them with a roll of cotton candy in my hands. Tommy! Kimberly throws herself at me. My arms open as wide as my eyes in surprise. Uh, okay. I was gone for like five minutes to get candy. What happened? What'd I miss? I, uh, we just missed you is all. Okay. Wow, uh, th this is actually happening. I, I need to make a call. Jason pulls away from the group and takes out his phone, dialing home. Mom? Oh, oh my god. Mom, it's really you. Trini turns and walks over to Jason as he collapses in on himself, his legs no longer working as he sits down on the grass. Trini places a hand on his shoulder in comfort as Jason breaks down sobbing. <laughs> yeah, I just... I don't... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> No, no, I'm not drunk, Mom. Okay, I'm totally lost. Do we tell him? If we are here to alter history, we may as well start now. I'll do it. You guys hang on here a sec. Kimberly grabs me by the hand and leads me towards a bench away from Zack and Billy. This is so weird. Six months? Six months we get to do over. Wild. Uh, guys? Billy narrows his eyes, pointing at something. What? Trini joins them both as she and Zack look to where Billy is pointing. At the center of the Ferris wheel, embossed in gold, is the White Tiger power coin. The three then look around the fair, seeing the Great Dragon and White Tiger coins on all the posters and rides, the Green and White Ranger helmets on others, and even Saba painted on a tent. I don't think we've traveled back in time. Kimberly sits me down at the bench. Okay, so this is going to sound weird, but you have to believe me. Alright. I'm not the Kimberly you just left to get candy. I'm from the future. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, alright. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> alright, and what are you here to do, Kim? I know it sounds crazy, but think about it. After all you've seen lately... Is it really crazy to think that time travel is a thing? What's this about, Kim? Is this you trying to tell me that you want to get back together? Because, like I said, I'm not ready for that yet. No. Listen. In a few days, Lord Zed will be here and everything will change. Like what? Tell me something only future you would know. David will become a Power Ranger. Okay, that's not funny. I'm serious. There's another set of coins called the Thunder Coins, and- Okay, now you're scaring me. Kim, stop it. So you're from the future, huh? Let me guess, you're here to stop me from going evil again. Well... Kim? Kim? Kimberly and I look up as the others run over. Jason behind them. His head low. It's not the future. What? Okay, so you're not from the future now? What the hell is going on, guys? It's really not funny. I thought we came here to forget about the ranger stuff. Look around us. It's the spring carnival. My town holds it every year. No, look closer. <sighs> Wait. Is that Tommy's power coin and his old one? A frown curls up on my face as I look around, seeing the same iconography. Huh. That's weird. So who is this? 
Is this Tommy from six months ago or the Tommy we came here to find? I... I'm dreaming, aren't I? If you are, then so am I. Jason. Jason, I'm so sorry. I really wanted it to be true. Yeah. Trini reaches out and grabs Jason's hand, squeezing it tight. Tommy, listen. Look at that coin. Not the dragon one. The other one. Do you recognize it? No, I... I guys, I think I should go. This is getting too... No, no, please listen and try to remember. Look at that tiger sword on that tent. Do you know what that is? Who that is? Uh... I... Try to think. Saba. His name's Saba. Yes, that's it! It's the sword that gave you the White Ranger powers! I don't say another word. But around us, the fair fades away. It's soon replaced with the wastelands of Chicago a week later. You fought well. For a human. <laughs> the battle with Zed at the foot of the destroyed Serpent Terra. You're right. A quick death will have to do. It's more than you deserve, Zed. I... I died. In a flash, I trade places with my other self, yelling out as I am murdered. <laughs> I looked down in confusion at my impaled chest. Why are you making me relive this? God, it hurts. I was happy at the fair. I want to be happy. And in another flash, the scene fades into a street at night. I stand on it across from them. Where, where are we now? This, this is my street. They turn. Watching me walk up to Kimberly's house, pick up a couple of stones and throw them at an upper floor window. Seriously? Guys still do that? This is further back, when we were dating, before Bandor took him. Tommy! Tommy! What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. I'm grounded, and it's like 11 p.m. Go home. I'll see you at school. Can I come up for a bit, please? <sighs> My folks are out. I guess I could let you in. Sweet! But if they come home, you're jumping out the window. Got it? <laughs> I don't practice martial arts for nothing. The other Kimberly and Rangers look on as I run up the steps and am let in. He wants to be happy. Th that's what he said. He wants to exist in happy memories. But I thought you guys didn't do it until after he came back. Why does it have to be about sex? Just hanging out could be a happy memory. Uh, he's a guy. Hey! I also resent that statement. Tommy isn't that kind of guy. Okay, fine. Uh, look, just because we didn't go all the way doesn't mean we didn't... Uh... Okay, back on track here, people. Is this what Tommy has been the last few days? The real him? Living in his good memories? Saba is not an evil being. Could have fooled me. This could be his way of giving Tommy's mind happiness while using his body for his own needs. But the other guy... The White Ranger. He talks like he was Tommy. Like he has his memories. Memories aren't anything without the emotions behind them. It would be like uh, Zordon if he just uploaded his memories, but not his character. His soul. Wow, this is some existential stuff right here. So the being controlling Tommy's body now is like a computer uploaded with his memories? Well, his essence stays here. Reliving the best hits of his life like a comfort movie on repeat. But before at the fair, there weren't other versions of us we watched like I just did. Also, is my nose really that big? Before, he was happy for us to play ourselves. Even go so far, so realistic, as to let me talk to my mom. To make me happy. But now he's kicked us out. For reminding him of his bad memories, breaking the illusion. Exactly. So what now? Because we need to talk to Tommy. And I am not walking in that house to see Kim <clears throat> hanging with him. Saba's here too. Somewhere. We just have to find him. Saba! Saba, where are you, you overgrown butter knife? No need to shout, Kimberly. The five look down the street as an old man in a white suit and gold tie walks up to them. And that insult was terrible. Saba? Yes. 
Why are you Colonel Sanders? In this world, I can take any form I choose. I felt our discourse would be much easier if you weren't talking to a floating tiger sword. But if you want, I can... No, no, it's fine. Quite a piece of technology that Alex Drake brought back with him. Of course, he needn't have bothered connecting me to it. I already exist here most of the time. Maybe. But while you're frozen, you can't unfreeze Tommy or hurt anyone. True enough. But I won't be trapped for long. I am already powering up to break free. I'd say seconds in real time. Perhaps minutes here. Hours, maybe? Time is a foreign concept to me, honestly. Perhaps we could discuss this somewhere other than Kimberly Street? Oh, but I like it here. Studying the things you humans do to each other to satisfy your animal desires. It fascinates me. Not okay, Saba. Take us somewhere else, now. <sighs> As you wish. This more of what you had in mind? The group look around as they are now in a conference room, each of their power coins on the back of five leather desk chairs. Saba sits in the one at the head of the table with his sword form on the back. Please, sit. You wanted to try to convince me to give you Tommy back. They each sit at the table. No, no! Zachary, I made an effort! Sit in the chair with the mammoth coin on it. I mean, come on, really. All right. I'll call it Mastodon, though. Just saying. Zack and Trini trade into their assigned chairs. Look, Saba, I know nothing we will say will convince you, but you have to believe us. If Tommy doesn't change back, then everything will be lost. I do not know how, Jason Lee Scott. His heart is pumped by the white light. His brain powered by its very center. Disconnecting him from the power is killing Tommy. And as bad as you may believe it is, he is still on your side. A powerful ally you need in this war. But if he kills David, then he'll become Draken. Draken? Whom is this you speak of? Saba, you are omniscient, correct? To a point... My godlike powers may have been slightly exaggerated, but not by much. So can you look into a future? Know what will happen? Perhaps. Whoa! What is this place? Uh, who are you? Oops! We appear to have a stray. That's Chad! Adam, show me a picture of him. He's one of the Shadow Rangers. Shadow Rangers? What the hell is he doing here? Back in the real world, outside of the dome of white light that has engulfed most of the White House front lawn, Alex Drake peers from beside the grid device, narrowing his eyes as he sees Chad Yeager just caught within the barrier. Damn it! You were supposed to drive them back! The Thunder Rangers run up next to him. He ran back in as soon as he saw you were setting something off. There was nothing we could do, he was too fast! And what does that do to the plan exactly? If we're lucky... Nothing. Hopefully the others can stop him from interfering, and maybe even show him the truth. Freeze! Hands up. The five look over to see a squad of police and soldiers aiming guns at them. What is that thing? What did you do? It's a bomb! Step away! Whoa, hey, it is not a bomb. I said hands up! Or we'll shoot. Do it! Shoot, Sergeant! Now, before it's too late! The remaining three Shadow Rangers run over, regrouped after the shock of the blast. I don't take orders from you. Actually... Dom removes his helmet. You do. Captain Dominic Ramirez, Shadow Ranger Division. I am ordering you to fire on these terrorists before they can hurt anyone else. What? Terrorists? Whoa. Look at his eyes. That's either eyeshadow, or he really needs some sleep. It's the corruption. The coins are tainted, poisoning his mind. Shadow White? I prefer Pink Thunder Ranger now, Captain. She's a traitor! Wouldn't be the first time, would it, Catherine? Do you even know whose side you're on at this point? 
not yours. I said, open fire! And then release Miss Goodson! But sir, I- That is an order! Now! Yes, sir. The soldiers straighten their guns to fire, the police following suit in their confusion. Alex, get behind us. That won't be necessary. I really didn't want to do this here. From the back of his belt, Alex produces a device. He then brings it up to activate it in a quick motion. Time for Time Force. The gunmen step back, covering their dazzled eyes as Alex Drake is replaced with a red, black, and silver Power Ranger in aero design in red on his helmet. He drops into a fighting pose. Thunder Rangers, protect the device at all costs. Huh? A new Ranger? Whatever. Shadow Rangers, soldiers, destroy that thing! Dominic flashes his helmet back on. You want it? You'll have to come through us. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Attack! Whoa, whoa! Hold on a sec. What have you people done to me? Where am I? He must have been caught in the blast. Indeed. And without any truly terrible or fantastic memories, he has wandered aimlessly for the past few minutes stumbling around the grid, with you all as an anchor point. All right. Well, we aren't rangers here. Maybe we can just talk. Indeed. He is free of the coin's corruption here. Corruption? Lord Zed tainted those power coins you're using. They have corrupted your mind, made you follow orders, do bad things. No. No, you're lying! Think about it, dude. You saw Bandora! Who? The woman you know is Miss Goodson, man. Miss Goodson is Rita Bandora, the commander of the first Zadorian ship to attack Earth. We've been fighting her for a year now. That's... that's not true! Saba, can you show him? <sighs> Very well. The group all stare around them as the walls are replaced with scenes as if in a planetarium, playing everything from the past year. Corrupting power coins. I love it. I want to speak to my parents. Do this mission for me, and I'll let you talk to them. Finster, I need a monster, a good one, hard to defeat. You'll resist, but you will be mine. No. It was all a lie? Oh, God. I... I was helping her take over. She killed the president! Help us, Chad. Help us stop her. Stop her? I thought I just saw her get arrested. That won't hold her. She'll get out somehow. She always does. Besides, she's not the real threat anymore. Draconis. Saba, can you do it? Do what you just did, but show us the future, so you can believe what we are saying. I do not tend to occupy my mind with what you call the future. It gets too confusing. Hard to keep someone alive under your command when you know how and when they will die. But you can do it. I believe so. Then do it. Please. Very well. Extending the grid to show what will come or at least one possible outcome of current events. Around them, in a flash forward, the future events play. David's death. My rage. And then they watch as I use a strange device to combine the White Tiger and Great Dragon coins. I then stand in a new Ranger suit of white, green, and gold with a red visor. <gasps> That's him, isn't it? Dragon. I will finish what you started, Pandora, better than you ever could, and will bring order to chaos, peace through control. And in that new world, no young man will lose his family to evil ever again. No one will be alone. They will have me, their master, their savior. They watch as scenes of Earth's invasion and downfall play. 
than of Drac in defeating Lord Zed and taking his staff, his throne, and his empire. I sit upon a new version of Zed's throne, surrounded by strange militant-looking versions of their own ranger suits. So many rangers. So much potential. Squandered. They could have been gods. The time has come. They will all fall. All rangers on every world, in every timeline. All of reality will know my order. <laughs> That is all I can see. After that, the grid is shattered. My control lost. Wait, go back. Show us him in full again. As you wish. The scenes revert until it shows Draken standing tall again. Look at what he's holding. That... that is me. Yeah, but look at the hilt. Your head. It's gone. I am dead. Now do you see? Now do you understand what your actions have caused? I... I... But there is no way to restore Tommy as he was. It is beyond my power. Uh, okay. Uh, what was all of that? Is it Saba? Is it really... Is there really no other way? I could tell him not to kill David. That will stop his mind from breaking. No, it won't! Tommy can't live in this fantasy forever, Saba. It won't hold. Eventually, he'll want out. And no matter what you do, your White Ranger will become Draken. Look into the other possible futures. Tell me I'm wrong! I... cannot. You are correct. Draken is inevitable. I have no choice. I must retake the white light and let Tommy Oliver die. How could I be so wrong? How could I not see how wrong of a choice for this power he was? No, Saba, please, please. There has to be a way. We need Tommy to fight Zed without him. There is one way. A possibility so absurd I had never entertained it. What? I could give all of my power into resurrecting the White Tiger coin into a more standard power coin. Rewrite its very being and in turn rewrite Tommy's DNA from dead to alive. Truly alive again. But using that much of my power would take away from my own life force. I... I would have to die. <laughs> Meanwhile, the battle outside rages on. Most of the civilian forces disarmed, those still with weapons still not getting the hint, are continuing to fire. Shadow Yellow strikes at Adam with his weapon. Adam stands up, holding himself, but he stands between Maxwell and the grid device. All right, how about this? In a flash, Maxwell's sword is gone, replaced by a blaster. No. Ryan fires, but the blasts are deflected by a blue force field. Huh? I took measures to protect it. You didn't think I'd leave something this important unprotected, did you? How long can it hold? Let's find out! Shadow Black now also calls on his blaster. Black and yellow firing on the device. Not much more than that. Stop them. On it. Aisha flips in and strikes at Dominic and Maxwell with her thunder whip. Get your asses back. Ugh. Aisha calls out as Shadow Blue flies in with a jump kick, sending her down. Rocky joins Adam in battling Black and Yellow as Blue and Aisha start to go at it. Free from engagement, Alex runs back to the device and checks on it. Seems okay. We need to end this now. Cat cuts in on Aisha, using her knowledge of Blue's moves to counter her at every turn, then summons her Phoenix Spear and swings in hard strikes. <laughs> Blue falls to the grass, 
Aisha and Kat then join forces, combining their weapons and sending a mighty blast of pink and yellow into shadow blue as she stands. <laughs> Blue's armor smokes. Catherine, running and reaching down to her belt, pulls the Shadow Wolf power coin from her morpher. In a shimmer, her ranger armor fades away. One down. This would go a lot faster with your help, Alex. I'm here to restore the timeline, not to help you defeat the Shadow Rangers. I only morphed for my own protection. Besides, it looks like you have this. He nods his head. Rocky following it to Adam, who takes Shadow Yellow down and removes his power coin as well. <laughs> yes, good call, Cat. Catherine nods in thanks, and then moves back to Aisha. You okay? We may have just worked well together, but that does not mean we are friends again. Understand? Yes. Yes, of course. Good. Shadow Black falls back, the only Shadow Ranger left. No! You will not get my coin! I will not let you win! It's over, Captain. Stand down! They look up as tanks roll in on the road ahead. Bring the dome down! Not yet it ain't. Dang it. Whatever they're doing in there, they better do it fast. That is it. I die, or Tommy dies. And frankly, it's no choice at all. What? Think about it, Kimberly. Tommy has, what, 60 or 70 more years left of existence if he's lucky? I am everlasting. Another will come along that will be worthy of my power. One who won't taint it and become a tyrant. But what have you done with all those centuries so far? Just existed in a cave waiting. How many more hundreds of years are you willing to wait for the next worthy person? However long it takes. But the fight with Zed is here. Now. There will always be another Lord Zed. Maybe. But he knows about you now. And Dosia is gone. Kaku is gone. There is no one left to stop him from coming after you next. Do you believe you can stop him from taking your power if we fail? If Draken can do it, then so can Zed. My physical self can be hidden in many places. It is a very big universe. But I bet you need a person to put it there, or a host to exist within. Without Tommy, you can't even get off Earth. I... I will find someone. I know what we're asking is big. And we have no right to ask you to sacrifice yourself, but... But look into the future. Every possible future and tell us there is a better way. If you find one, then... then we will let you kill Tommy and go. Saba's eyes glow white for a few moments. I... cannot. If Tommy Oliver dies today, your world falls and I am captured and destroyed by Zed soon after. In some timelines, I live until the Machine Empire arrives, but... Stop! We don't want to know. I only need to know if I'm right. You are. I'm sorry. I have existed for hundreds of years. Ninjori created me for a purpose, to stop the likes of Zed and his evil. Perhaps this is what I was created for. At least this way, I will give my life to empower good instead of evil. It is that simple. Either Tommy gets my power, or Zed does. Why didn't you know all of this before? It could have saved us all a lot of pain. As I said, I do not make a habit of looking into what is to come. It makes life more interesting not knowing. Most of the time. So, now what? Now, I give my life to restore Tommy as he was. I will still exist as a sword, a weapon from which Tommy will still be able to call upon the White Tiger Thunder Beast. But... My life force will be gone. It is the only way. However, in order to do that, you must convince Tommy to leave this place willingly. I cannot bring his mind back without his permission. The same way I cannot trap it here without it. Send us to him. We can do it. The conference room fades, replaced with a blank white void. 
At the center of it, sitting alone on a bed, is me. My head in my hands. Stay here, I'll do it. Kimberly walks away from the group to me. I don't look up. Tommy? It's gone. All of it. That's how the past works. You can't go back, but you can control how you go forward. I finally look up at her. Why are you on a bed? It's mine. At home. I... I feel safe here. My mom and David... They help me feel like I'm me again. Kimberly sits on the bed next to me. But I never will be myself again, will I? After what Rita did to me, I can't go back. Ever. I killed people. No matter how much good I do, I can't bring them back. What's the last thing you remember? I was the Green Ranger, and... No. No, I died. Then I came back. We had an amazing two weeks. I was the White Ranger. But then we... Kim! Are we free? Did it work? Did we all get out? We did, and you got us our powers back. But not everyone made it out. Oh god, who? Adam? Billy? Uh, Trini? Not a ranger. <sighs> Your mom, Tommy. Pandora killed her. What? No! How? She made you. The new you choose. You chose me. Oh, God! No! 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 I know the real you would never have made that choice. Maybe you would have picked her instead. Maybe you would have backed down like Rita ordered. <laughs> Tommy, I am so sorry. <sighs> Did... Did David make it? Yes, but... But? Losing her, especially in the way that he did, it broke him. And Bandor destroyed his power coin, too. In some ways, we lost him that day, too. But he's safe. That's up to you. He hated you for what you did. Or at least the thing that took over your body, how he didn't care. Zappa was able to give David your old powers, restore the Green Ranger coin, but... Rita got to him. In his state, she was able to cast a spell on him, take over his mind. You and he are fighting right now in the real world. The other you is about to kill him. That's why we are here. To stop you. We? Hey, Tommy. I know what it's like to lose everyone. If Bandora had cast a magic on me that day, I might have been turned too. But killing David... We have information that says doing that will be something you will never come back from. This you will be gone. Forever. Information? We can tell you everything later. But right now, we need you back. The real you. Are you ready to take your body back? I... yeah. But... I'll be able to fix things, right? I can stop myself from killing Dave. <laughs> Stopping yourself from stabbing him is one thing, Tommy. Getting through to him, past Bandora's spell, is quite another. Saba? Yes? Wow, you're a, you're a person. Uh, but why are you helping them? I thought you wanted things this way. Let's just say I was convinced the real you is the right choice. I can bring you back totally human as you wanted. But... We will never speak again. What? My life for yours. It is how it must be. It is the only way to stop Lord Zed and his kind. Wait, isn't David in here with us? Wasn't he caught in the blast too? He was. So we can go to him. Tommy can free David's mind just as we freed his. It is possible. Rita's magic has no power here. Where is he? David is living in the moment he has lived in ever since that fateful day at the base. Ah! No! Mom! David is where he was on that day. On his knees. On the metal corridor floor. 
watching it play out for the last of hundreds of times. Dave! David stands and snaps his head towards the group, myself at the front and center. Tommy? What the hell is this? Some kind of trick? It's not a trick. It's me, Dave. The real me. Where are we? What do you remember? This. David gestures behind him as the scene plays out again. I... I see it for the first time. Give up your powers and get back into your cage like a good boy. You underestimate me. And you, me. Choose or surrender. Very well. Ah! Oh my god, Dave. I am so, so sorry. I didn't know. I just wanted to save everyone. You always do. Ever since we were kids, you were always trying to be the hero. Jumping in without any thoughts about the consequences. Like, like that bully in sixth grade. You stopped him from hurting Alicia Harding. But that kid was a couple of years older than me. He beat my ass and then picked on you for the rest of the year. Yeah, he made my life hell. And you took it out on me. God, you were such an asshole sometimes, David. You needed it. Look what happened when I wasn't there to protect you. You died. And now she's dead. And it's all her fault. He points at Kimberly. Mine? Yeah. If he never met you, then Bandora wouldn't have discovered him, gave him the Green Ranger powers, and without that, he never would have died. Or Mom. Oh, God. He's right. It's not Kimberly's fault. I kept my coin after I was freed. I chose to fight Zed alone with my failing powers. I chose to let Saba take control of me. Then her death is on you. I know. But right now, I need you to break out of Pandora's power. It should be easier now that she no longer has her ring. I need to know that if I stop attacking you, that you won't hurt anyone else. No one else. Just you. Fine. If that's what you want, we can do that. As long as you choose it, not Pandora. Fine. Let's go. Saba? Hmm. I guess the time has come, Tommy. Know that it was never my intention to use you. I just did what I thought was right. What I thought would save your planet and many others. I know. Despite everything, I'll miss you, buddy. I'll always be with you. My sword will still be as sharp, my laser eyes at your command. I just won't offer my opinion anymore. <laughs> Goodbye, Saba. Saba reverts into his sword form and begins to glow a white light. That light expanding from him to engulf us all. I... I am changing. I... I feel... Farewell, Power Rangers. And may the power protect you. Keep firing! Give them all we've got! Beyond, the tanks fire on the bubble as the Thunder Rangers subdue Dominic and remove his power coin. No! Dominic falls to his knees in defeat. We have it! I'm picking up a surge within the grid. Something's happening. Besides that, the field won't last much longer. I'm shutting it down and bringing them back. Well, let's hope it worked. With a click, the bubble begins to implode. Cease fire! It travels inwards and is sucked up by the device as it powers down. On the lawn, the frozen rangers all jerk as they are returned to their bodies. <sighs> the white ranger at once lets go of the green ranger's neck, letting him drop to the grass. <coughs> you want to fight me, Dave? Go for it. Tommy places the lifeless Saba back in his holster, opening his arms and allowing it to happen. <laughs> David punches away at the White Ranger, releasing his rage. Tommy falls back while David leaps onto him and pounds onto his helmet. Tommy! No, Kim. Let it happen. David needs this. 
If it gets bad, we'll step in. Why did you let her die? Tommy's faceplate cracks. The visor, smashed, reveals Tommy's right eye peering from beneath. Tears fall from it. I... it wasn't me. I don't think I could have made that choice, Dave. But if I did, I would have done everything I could have to save her. Don't do that. What? Don't be you again. It's not fair. Reed is gone from my mind, and all I want to do is punish you for what you did. But now you're Tommy again, and it, I can't. You didn't do it. David stops punching, and eventually drops his arms, sobbing. He falls onto Tommy. Tommy catches him in a hug. <laughs> Guys! The Thunder Rangers and Alex regroup with the rest. What happened? Did it work? It's over. Jason brings up his wrist. Alpha, get us out of here. Everyone with a coin. He looks over at Chad, still morphed. Everyone. Well done to you all. Your families are waiting for you in the living quarters. Alpha has tried to answer their questions, but they are rather upset. They wish to see you. I'll bet. Welcome back, Tommy. And you, David. Thank you for standing down. It could not have been easy. No. No, it wasn't. Zordon, I've decided I'm going to turn myself in. I'll explain everything. Make sure everyone knows it was me who attacked that base, not you. Me too. I, I don't deserve this anymore. Chad removes his ape coin and places it on the console next to him, next to the rest of the Shadow Ranger coins, Cat's Falcon coin having also been recovered by Catherine herself. I'm glad you backed down, Chad. Me too, Adam. I... <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. But honestly, I need to pay for my part in all of this. If answering questions and doing time is it, then... That's how it is. What about us? We're still fugitives. I have been monitoring military communications since you returned. It appears that most of the people who knew your identities are dead. Or have been sworn to silence while your government finds out what truly happened. I believe by your laws any information they obtained from Pandora is being treated as invalid. So we can go home? But... What about our parents? They won't all be as good about it as Mr. Hart. They won't let us do this anymore. They'll blow the whistle to everyone who will listen. At least, mine will. My mom will too. Count on it. We do have a solution, if you are willing. Alpha? We have a device here at the command center. It can alter a person's memory if done carefully. Without surgery or pain, we can make them all forget that you are the Power Rangers. Sorry, what? Maybe they should know. Given what just happened, the danger us doing this put on them, maybe we should just give it up. We can't, man. Zetter this machine empire will come back someday. It may be months or years, but we need to be ready. And the hounding they would face if the world knew who we are? It's the best option. Think about it, Jace. Your family, Tommy's mom, they are dead because of this life. And my folks could have been next. Without us, everyone on this planet would be dead or enslaved. And if it wasn't us, then some other young people somewhere would be in our place. Zed and Rita are who's to blame for everything, no one else. The debate rages for almost an hour, until an unlikely voice arrives and speaks up. I think you should do it. Dad? I want to have it done to me, too. No, Dad, why would you say that? Because I know you won't stop, Kim. None of you will. You're young adults, and you can make your own choices now. But every time I watch you on the news, I I'm terrified that you might not come back to me. That you'll die, like Tommy did. That is a horrible feeling. One that those other terrified people in there don't deserve. Especially the kids. But Dad, you could forget your wedding or my first steps. I understand. Is it worth it? To not have the terror of losing you? Without the power to stop it? Yes, Kimmy, it is. But I liked having you know. I liked not being able to lie to you. 
then don't. Or just get better at it. Is everyone agreed? One by one, the rangers nod or verbally agree. Well, I think you can all take it from here. And now that I've got a world to get back to, it should be any... He looks down at his wrist, seeing it flashing a green light. There we go. Drake here. Alex? Alex, are you okay? Where are you? I'm glad to hear your voice. My mission was a success. Bring me home. Alex looks around the room at the group. I suspect some things will have changed, but that's my fiance, Jen Scotts. That means the timeline is restored. She wasn't around when I left. See you all in the future, and good luck. Go ahead, Jen. Alex, thank you. It was an honor, Tommy Oliver. Just please don't go evil again, okay? You're needed. Never again, I swear. Until next time, it was an honor meeting every one of you. Well, we have a lot to do. I suggest we get started. Over the next few hours, things are put into place. Each of the Ranger families are treated and made to forget, with Jonathan Hart holding Kimberly's hand as he lies on the medical bed, receiving his treatment. And all are returned to their lives with their children and siblings, none the wiser. Chad and Catherine are teleported to the Angel Grove military base, their old command base, and turn themselves in. Two days later, Tommy Oliver stands in a full black coat on a chilly November morning, looking from a far and high vantage point as a military funeral is taking place. A coffin draped in the American flag is being carried down the street by the large procession. I thought I'd find you here. This is the second of the men I killed. They were both local guys in their 20s. Government's covering it up, of course. Said they died in the Phoenix Sword attack. That their bodies weren't found until now. But I needed to see this. That wasn't you, just your body. I know, but that doesn't make it any easier. I swore when I joined you guys that I would never take a human life again. That I'd atone for what I did. It's not your fault. If you hadn't given it in to Saba, we'd all still be in those cells. Yeah. Jason has moved back in with Zack. His parents remember everything about his living there. Just not the last few days. Not the way they were, anyway. I have two spare rooms at my place if you and David need somewhere to live. Thanks, but our house was paid off. And our mom left it to us. But everyone still thinks you're dead. Yeah, funny thing about that. Catherine and Chad spoke to me before they left. They both testified at the hearing that the first Green Ranger was a clone of me, created by Bandora. That my joining you was all talking it into changing sides. I knew it was a good idea. Did it work? Enough to have me declared alive. They added some BS about me being kept prisoner by Bandora this whole time on Earth. And that the Power Rangers freed me. Wow, so you are have your life back. Yeah. And uh, all it cost was my mom. What are they saying? Oh, how are they saying she... They told the truth, to a point. That she was attacked and killed by Bandora. Something about her coming, looking for me. Oh, and people are buying it? Well, my grandma and aunt haven't left me alone since they found out I was alive. After me and my mom... I just think that they're so happy I'm here that they'll believe anything. That's great. I'm happy for you. I don't deserve it. You do, Tommy. Look at me. You do. They get closer, looking into each other's eyes. Kim, I... Uh, Please don't. I can't do this. Not now. I've lost you twice, knowing the battles we might be up against soon. I can't take losing you a third time. This roller coaster of emotions isn't your fault. But I need to get off. For my own sanity. I understand. I... I guess I'll see you around. See you soon. And Tommy? Enjoy life while you have it. Saba gave you a gift. 
Don't waste it. I won't. I've been eating like seven cheeseburgers a day. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Tommy. See you soon. The lawn of the White House has become an FBI and military crime scene. Among the officers taking photos and collecting evidence, one man crouches down, picking up something from the grass. Mm, and what do we have here? The man is Finster, in his human disguise. The thing he has just found is Bandora's magic ring. <laughs> it's not over yet, Power Rangers. Thank you.